Hey, what's happening guys? What you're seeing here is where the channel lives. This is where I make the videos. But there's a guitar hanging on the wall there. That is my Wolfgang. And there's guitars over there. And there's a drum set and there's speakers and there's just musical stuff everywhere because I love music. I always have. I find it very cool, very relaxing, and I don't know how I've gotten through life without music. And I've been trying for over a year to replicate the sound that Tom Schultz created in the 1970s with the first Boston album. So if you guys don't know, that guy right there, it's Tom Schultz, the guitar player, writer, everything from the band Boston. In fact, their first studio album, Boston, is this guy in his basement recording everything. Now, Schultz was more than just a musician. Schultz is also an electrical engineer. He had a day job for Polaroid. And he invented the things that he wanted to hear in the way he wanted to record music. And one of his most famous things that he ever recorded is this guy right here. This is the Schultz Research and Development Rockman X100 headphone amp. He made it as a practice amp, but it turned out to be so much more than that. You see we have echo, chorus, normal, we have distortion, edge, clean one, clean two, turn it on, turn it off. When they ran this through their mixing board, it did some incredible things. And the sound of it is amazing. For instance, this is a sample of the clean sound, and I can only play you a few seconds. So that's uh, Def Leppard's song Hysteria, which is famous. That entire album used the Rockman amp. Uh, let's see, I have another one here. Let's have to find it. Now here's something that Schultz wrote. This is uh, something about you from the first Boston album. This is more of the overdriven version of the Rockman. But using that Rockman amp gives everything that particular sound. And I've been trying, like I said, for about a year to redo it. I think I've come a little bit closer. So I got the boards made. I'll show you that here in a second from PCB Way, of course, and we'll put them together. Okay, here's the circuit. It's not incredibly complicated. We have our nine volts coming in to power the circuit. That powers our PT. 99 also powers our. Uh, TLO72 or 07, yeah, TLO72 op amp. So we have our signal coming in, which can go through the bypass switch, or it can feed to the op amp, which is going to be our gain control right here. And then it's going to feed into the PT2399. And it's going to do some things over here, it's just some random filtering. Now, here on this VCO, I have another potentiometer set here. I've marked it as Mojo. That should allow us to thicken up the sound a little bit, so to speak. Now, if you flip the switch the other way to bypass, then we're going to go through a decoupling capacitor and directly out. So, nothing going on there. Okay. Designing your own boards is difficult enough. There's a lot of things you have to look out for, but you shouldn't have to worry about getting them manufactured. And it is my promise to you that if you send your Gerber files to PCV Way, they're going to make you some good boards. And it's super easy. Log into their site, go to Quick Order PCB, add your Gerber file. Uh, this is the Rockman. There we go. Select how many boards you want, how thick track spacing, hole size, solder mask, whatever you want, and get them sent out super easy, 
super quick. And depending on where you live and what shipping you choose, there's five boards for $13, and I'll have them in a week. You can't beat that. All right, got the boards back from PCB Way, and as you can see, they look really good. So we will get started with some resistors, 10K. And I got a bunch of 1K resistors to put in. So today is Friday, August 12th. In six days, we take Blake off to college. I think we got everything ready. If not, he's not that far away. And he can call us and we'll get him whatever he needs. <laughs> I think he's actually starting to get excited. He's especially excited about his uh, physics professor, uh, a doctor by the name of Tae Min Hung, who worked at CERN on the Large Hadron Collider. Which is, you know, what thrills and motivates Blake is you know, the whole particle physics kind of thing. So, that's very cool. Time to solder. Alright, here we go. Get these resistors soldered in. Now, one of the key components of the Rockman is the compressor. And if you're unfamiliar with guitars and recording and whatnot, you might not understand what a compressor is or what it does. So I'll give you the simplest explanation. A compressor makes quiet things louder and loud things quieter. It basically decreases the dynamic range of a signal. And that helps with errant notes that you didn't mean to play or that you struck too loud you know any any of a a number of things i do not have the compression in this board so we are going to be lacking that so we're not going to get quite as tight of a sound as schultz had but i think it should still be quite acceptable course I'm pretty sure that you could replicate this entire thing with a teensy and an audio board all right let's get some capacitors in here these are the point oh ones There we go. Then we have the point oh ones. Point oh oh one, I'm sorry. Those guys go here. Like so. We have point ones that go here. <laughs> yeah, not quite a fit, but she'll do for government work. And then the point two two, which is our biggest one we have here. Come on, get in there. All right, let us solder. So 
So the band practices on Sunday these days, and uh, we've got a new singer coming this Sunday. We've been having trouble keeping singers. Our first singer was pretty good. Her name was Sarah, but Sarah had never been in a band before, and she just didn't really have the temperament for it and quit. So our new singer is coming Sunday, and her name is Elizabeth. We'll see how she does. She has a bit of a lower voice, more into the men's range. And she likes to do some hard rock songs, so that'll be fun. All of our capacitors are now in. All right, next we'll put in our pots. Come on, there we go. And our bypass switch. Needs a little blue tack on these guys here to hold them in place can't thank Rob enough for turning me on to and sending me the blue tack oh <laughs> just launched my switch right out of a the atmosphere there Excuse me while I grab just a little more blue tag. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> Stuck to it everywhere. There we go. Now we can solder these guys in here and get closer to a, a sound test of this stuff, right? I'm going to solder one of these at a time. That way, I can come over here, pull off the Bluetooth, or Bluetooth, <laughs> Blue Tack, get them sitting pretty good. I know we can come back and solder in the rest. Okay. So, guess we can do our ICs next. The PT2399. So put in our pin straightener. Handmade in Canada. Look how nice that just slips right in there. A little blue tack. And we'll get her soldered in. All right, we're getting to the home stretch now. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Got our wires to put in. These are our connectors. For signal in and out of the device. Tell you one thing, these uh, 
super cheap quarter inch jacks I bought off of Amazon. Very difficult to solder too. They just don't seem to want to take solder. I cleaned them with both rosin core and acid core flux and they still just don't want to play nice. I had to crank my heat way up. So, you may be asking yourself, how come there's no stomp box switch on here? Well, this is still early prototyping stages of this guy. When it's ready to go into a stomp box, then we can, you know, use the proper type components. But for now, assuming this works, and that's a lot of assumption, we will just go with what we got. And these should be the last solder joints of this little project. Woohoo! Oh, get in there. All right, all right, all right. There she is. All right, so what we've got here is my Fender Champ clone. I built tube amplifier. You can see it's got no controls, just volume, not even reverb. And I've got that plugged into my Stratomacaster. All right, so what we've got here is my Fender Champ clone. I built tube amplifier. You can see it's got no controls, just volume, not even reverb. And I've got that plugged into my Stratomacaster. So there's the Strat. Here's the sound. So if, let me, let me turn this down a bit here. There we go. So if I try and play the opening of Def Leppard's Hysteria, We don't really get much. So let's put the board in and see how it goes. We'll start off by hooking the board into nine volts power. And then we'll unplug the guitar line from the amplifier. And that goes into our input and then I need to grab another cable for the output. Hang on one second. All right, found another cable. So that goes into the amplifier. And this one goes in here, like so. Everybody stay there. Make sure we are still working. That sounds good. All right, flick the bypass switch. And now we'll see what we get. That's not bad. It seems like Maybe I'm losing a little bit of volume. Definitely losing volume. So, uh, where's my screwdriver? We can turn that up a little bit. See where we're at. All right. Turn it on. 
And what do we get now? Still losing a little bit of volume, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. All right, guys. So far, I am pretty, pretty, pretty pleased. Now I just got to figure out how to add compression. And we might have something here. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. And a huge thanks to my A number one longtime sponsor. PCB way. If you need a PCB made, you can design it. Send them your Gerbers. They'll take care of you. Alright guys, feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons and a big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.